Hi, and welcome to this Fornaf Coffee Break. My name is Mark Brummel, I'm a Senior Product Specialist at Fornaf, and I will be your presenter today. Today we're going to make a brand new report using watermarks. We will get there using three steps. In the first step, we're going to add watermarks to Business Central. In the second step, we're going to look at using watermarks, using properties in the Fornaf Designer. And in the third step, which is actually an alternative to the second step, we're going to add watermarks using AL coding. Let's start with the first step and see how we can load watermarks into Business Central. So for today's video, I'm going to use a production tenant of Business Central hosted by Microsoft. This is a BC16 tenant, which is 2020 Wave 2 with Fornav 5.2 installed. If I search for the Fornav setup, you will see that I have the option to upload logos and watermarks. So today we're going to use the watermarks and if I click on import, the system asks me to select a file. So where do I get those files? If I click on actions watermark and download watermarks, you will be taken to our website where you can download examples of watermarks. These are examples that you can use as inspiration for your own watermarks or you're free to use them out of the box in your system. So if I select a file, I'm going to use one of my favorites, template number six. I can test if my watermark works by going into Fornaf standard reports, finding the section with templates, and running the template from the preview. There we go. So now let's see what we can do using the properties in the Fornav Designer, creating a brand new report. So I'm going to create a brand new report straight from the Fornav Designer. And to do that, I'm going to connect my Business Central to my production tenant. I call it production, select cloud, sign in, and after signing in I'm going to select production and my company. Now I'm going to select new, I'm going to select a report template, and let's select a list template. Before I preview my report I have to save it to the server. And after saving the report, I can preview my changes in Fornav. So how do I add a watermark to this report? In the property window, on my right, I have a property called watermark. And if I select the assist edit, I get a window that allows me to add, for example, a text. If I preview the report again, it will now print this watermark. Alternatively, I can also upload a picture watermark. Let's use this picture. And preview the report again. There we go. Nice coffee break watermark. In the next and final step, we're going to see how we can work with watermarks using AL code. We need to use AL code if we want to put the watermarks from the Fornav setup on our report. So the first step is to unpack my extension that I've just uploaded to the production tenant using the Fornav designer. This asks me for a folder and I'm going to select the watermark folder on my PC. And now it asks me if I want to open the extension in Visual Studio Code. This part of the video requires some knowledge of AL coding for extensions in Business Central. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, you should contact a developer in your network. The file that I'm working on is the report file, which is called fornav 56789al or it's called like you called the report in the properties of the Fornav Designer. 
The first part of the AL file is the data set, which we don't need today. Then we have the request page and the triggers. We are also not going to use that. We're going to work in the part where we can add procedures. In my report object, I need to add a function called load watermark. This has a reference to the 4NAV setup that I can access because of my dependencies. And this reads the document watermark from the setup and puts the watermark into the function load watermark image. The other step that I have to do is I have to call the load watermark procedure from my own pre report. That's the only thing I have to do. Um, now I can build my report and I can upload my extension into the production tenant. After my upload has succeeded, I can go into Fornav, my reports, and I can run my report directly from the role center. Now I can see that my watermark is being used in my report. So let's summarize what we just did. The first thing we looked at is how to load watermarks into Business Central using the Fornav app from AppSource. In the second step, we've added some watermarks using properties to a brand new report that we loaded into the production tenant. And in the last and final step, we've used the watermarks from the Fornav setup in our brand new report, adding a piece of AL code into the Visual Studio Code extension. If you want to know more, please visit our website, fornav.com. And if you go to our download page, you can download the designer straight from there. On Microsoft App Source, you can find our app that you need to load the watermarks and get the example reports. And if you want to see more of these videos, you can go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash reports. Don't hesitate to send us an email. Our email address is info at fornav.com. Thank you for watching this coffee break. I'm looking forward to see you again in another coffee break. And if you have any suggestions on topics, please send us an email again to info at fornav.com with your suggestion. And if your suggestion makes it into a video, you will receive a gift certificate.